Hello, I have been using these nice icons called Flurry by David Lanham, available at iconfactory.com, to make a nice iPhone-like dock and desktop, and a lot of people have been asking me where to get them. But I thought I would take that a step further and show you how to actually make these icons so if the numerous options available are not satisfying to you, you can make your own. So this is actually really easy to do, but you do need Candy Bar, which is available at iconfactory.com, and I think you can use it for free uh, for a certain number of icons, but after a point you have to start paying for it, but it's only like seven or eight dollars. Um, so if you want to make an icon, um, you just need to have Photoshop or something that's capable of some basic shapes and drawing, and you need to have one of the uh, flurry icons to use as a sample. So we are going to grab one of those. I already have one here, but if you need to get one, you can do it in Candy Bar and go to Export and choose PNG. And then all you have to do is just move this up to 512 so we get the biggest size possible and then click Save. Um, we're going to use the one I already have and I'll include that in a download with the post so you can use it too. So I'm just going to open that up in Photoshop and you can use whatever you want but that's what I'm using. And so here we've got a nice little icon. Now I'm going to make, I'm going to just copy this here and then make a new canvas. Now the icon itself is 478 by 478 but we want a canvas of 512 by 512 because that's the current icon size in Mac OS X. Now you can do this uh, for PC too using PC tools but we're just going to concentrate on Mac here. So there it is. I'm just pasting that in on a new layer and we need to make a rounded rectangle that's the same size. So I'm going to go to the shape tool here and choose rounded rectangle tool and set the radius to 80 pixels. That's the that's the curve size of this rectangle here. So I'm just going to aim right there and draw my rectangle so it's the same size approximately. And you can see that I didn't quite cover it fully, but that's basically it. Now you can leave this drop shadow there automat just you know, as it is, and just use it from the other icon, or if you just double click this area over here, you can bring up the effects that Photoshop has built in, and you can add a drop shadow that is very similar, but is actually native to the program, so you're not borrowing from the old icon at all. And then if you want to add like something like a stroke to give it a little bit more of an edge, you can do that too. So I'm going to do that there. Now let's say I want to make an icon that has these nice colors that I have on my desktop. I'm just going to clear everything out of the way, take a little screen grab there, and then I'm going to command click the shape to select the inside, and then paste it into the shape. And we do that by choosing paste into or command option shift B. So now I've got that in there, I'm just going to resize it a bit so we can get a nice color there. There we go, moving it into place. And now we have our icon. Now I just need to clear out the background there. And then I'm going to save for web. And that's going to bring up a panel here. And I want to choose PNG24 because that will clear out the background when we save it as a graphic and import it back into Candy Bar so we can use it as an icon. I'm just going to click Save and then go to the desktop and choose my new flurry icon. Saving it out. And you'll see on the desktop we have this. Looks good. So I'm going to go back into Candy Bar, I'm going to make a new group called my new, well let's go with Flurry Icons Me, so they're up with the other Flurries. And I'm going to put that in there, now we've got an icon, we can zoom in on that and see it in all its glory, get rid of these, don't need those anymore. So I'm just, all I have to do now is just copy this and make a new folder, and I can just paste it on like any old icon, and now I've got my own new icon which I can do whatever I want with and that's all there is to it.